Is the Wilderness Dying? Day one of the Wilderness documentary, we went in solo to some of the most dangerous multi-spots in the wild. And I found out that some areas of the wild aren't as originally dead as I thought. So I will be marking each area I visit in the wilderness with a dead man mode skull, marking the level of activity that I found. A one key skull means very little activity, and the more keys a skull has, that means the more activity an area has. So here's what we have so far on the map. Today we're going to be searching some of the most popular single spots to PK, meaning it should go a little better than the multi spots as I only enter these areas alone. First off, we will be going to the Lava Maze. In order to get to the Lava Maze, all you need is a burning amulet and then you teleport to the Lava Maze. It's pretty damn simple. I like to wait on the hill and wait for people to teleport in, but this place is known as one of the most popular breeding hotspots. Not only that, it's a treasure trove hotspot because you have people doing KBD, you have people running bones, mining runite ore, clue scrolling, and even going to rev caves all from the same teleport. So hopefully we'll run into some nice juicy PKers and even some PVMers, but before we start the timer, I do have to warn you guys about one macing area near Lava Maze. Well, truthfully, there's two macing spots spots as there's a multi square patch once you get past the web but that's not really too relevant so just don't go past the web and you'll be fine this one is near the kbd gate the north side is all multi and if you get frozen alongside the gate you can actually get speared in because the corner of the kbd gate for some reason just puts you right in a multi when you get speared into it I can't explain much more than that, but just be careful. That happens all the time. The first world I hopped to, there was already some action. It looked like a main was picking on a very low level, so I jumped in on the fight to protect the low level, even though I'm not really a saint. I've been known to PK everybody. And he didn't like that, so he's talking shit in Edgeville. <laughs> didn't get on the recording, but we ran into him again when we went back out. It looks like I'm probably gonna get PJ'd here. <laughs> Definitely gonna get PJ in here. Oh man. Oh, got him! No way! Yo, I got him! Yes, okay. First kill, five minutes in. Let's see if we get a double. All, I, all I'm saying is if I somehow pull this double off, man, my, my DC'd, my internet go up. Oh, fuck. Was that a chance? I think it was. No! No, he ran. Okay. So I chanced him once or twice there. Couldn't get the double kill. <laughs> Sorry, boys. I was trying to go for the plays, but no range pot. Meaning the dragon crossbow couldn't come through. Used literally all my bolts, but first 10 minutes of lava maze. And we're already walking away with a kill here. Nice 470k. I ended up running into a little group in singles, which may seem weird as it is singles, but this happens quite a lot where a group of people will PK together, not in multi. So do be careful if you're in a 1v1 fight and you do see a couple people that aren't really attacking anyone, they're probably looking for a very good chance to PJ you with an AGS. Had to get out of there, uh, ended up killing some dude who had a rev bracelet, took him out and his friend actually came out to try to revenge me he ran all the way south which takes me to another very weird maze spot if you ever are following somebody and they're running directly south beware i almost lost my volatile staff there is a multi patch around 25 ish wild so don't follow people all the way down it's usually either a bait or a mace lure oh, that was weird he just went for that at like 90 HP. Oh. Got him. Oh, thank God, thank God, thank God. All right, beautiful kill, beautiful kill. Oh, dude, under an hour, we already got ourselves a whale. Blessed spirit shield on the floor. Thank God that ring of recoil killed him, man. The only reason I bring a ring of recoil is because I red bar so many people. So all this is kind of surprising me, which is awesome and amazing. So biggest PK so far, five mil in the bag. Dragon crossbow, 500k cash. We got the D boots. Oh, it's looking, it's looking great, my man. Bye. As you can see here, it looks like a guy who is doing some prayer training. 
Hopefully we can catch a freeze on him. Here to show an example of what you're going to find a lot is just butt naked people. We don't bring any food, any armor other than a bulwark, and they'll probably drop a full inventory of bones. He's fucking cold. And what's he got? Yep, that is 26 dragon bones, 71k loot. Uh, now he's going to come back and grab these, so... You know, no harm, no foul there. Just kind of showing as an example that you can farm naked people for their bones. They bring no food, and uh, it will add up. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, what is this? Alright, so either it's a bait, or it's not a bait, and that guy is fucking rocking gear. Uh, okay, so we caught the freeze. Now, it's not looking like it's going to be a kill, but I'm going to try my best here. These are some of the people you can catch running to KVD. Gonna close the gate, should still be frozen. Nope. Nope. Well. <laughs> oh, I just used my specs, so maybe I'll come back and fight that, but... Yep, just an example of some of the people you can run into who are doing KVD. Oh, man. I don't even want to know what that guy was risking. Why are you bullying me? I ran into a couple more PKers and even ran into a very geared KBDer with the Lance, but they were all able to escape me, even though we were in 39 Wilderness. Why? Because there's a lever that teleports you into a safe zone, which is the KBD layer, and you can teleport out from there. So even though we are deep in the wild, you only have a limited amount of time to get each kill before they can escape. Hey, I got logged in. Ooh, that guy logged in. Actually, I don't know if they're logging in or they're just over there or something, man. Oh, no. And it's as easy as that. Yeah, beautiful. Gimme, gimme, man. Like I said, I'm not really <laughs> trying to go for the rev killers, but I logged in. I thought that guy was a PKer. And I might as well just fill up the bag. Let me grab the rest of these potions here. Full bag, 285k. All right, one more world hop, and we have successfully switched to every world at the lava maze area. Sadly, no one on uh, this spot here. Since we're only an hour and 18 minutes in, I think I'm gonna search this area for a little longer, possibly the two hour timer and switch to the next spot, which I believe is gonna be the altar, which is right over there. But yeah, up 5.8 mil. Pretty solid first hour of day two. So here we have a crossbower. All right, crossbower down. He didn't put up much of a fight. Sometimes they do have a bulwark, but that's gonna be, oh, look at that ether, baby. 2K ether in the bag. Black Knight's just looking at me. All right, that's gonna be a quick 445K. The second hour, I didn't seem to get as lucky, but we did find one more fight. He ran, ending up at 6.2 mil so far in two hours PK'd. Now we're gonna go head over to the Wilderness Altar. The Wilderness Altar, one of the best places to train prayer in RuneScape. Using a bone on the altar gives you a 50% chance to keep that bone and you can use it again. This effect stacks and it gives the same XP rate as the Gilded Altar. So you could say it's pretty overpowered. Combine that with the fact that you can unnote your bones two steps away from the altar and you have yourself a hot spot. This area is home to anyone grinding prayer, whether you're going for rank on the high scores or you're just trying to unlock piety for the first time. Also, there is a wine Zamorak spawn where a lot of bots telegrab that for GP per hour. But what you have to be wary of is that there are PKers there and there's a lot of lures. Someone will dress up as somebody risking bank training prayer in the multi-zone, and once you step into the altar, they'll close the door and let their teammates log in and bounce. This happens a lot, especially on the weekend, so let's see how active the wilderness altar is. But I do wanna show you guys how to, first off, scout people doing the bones. Uh, I like to stand mm, a little farther away from the altar. And then we're going to switch worlds. And my tactic is, and I use this to scout a lot of areas, you can see animations render in farther than people. All right, here we go. So the door's open, and I'm probably zoom in editing-wise, but you can see a little blue animation, meaning someone is burying bones. Now, they're probably not going to have a lot of risk, but like I said, for those who want to go and PK people who are naked with bones, you'll make some money. I'm going to run directly at him and just spam click him and hopefully he's level 15. <laughs> oh, well, I just wanted to show that off. You're not going to be able to get the combat level, but it's a great way to scout certain areas, especially the bone altar. I actually found someone here, thank God. 
Whoa, what is that? Ha! <laughs> ah, it's Meter! I ran the parking meter! Oh, now this clip has to go in the video. My boy Meter right here. Oh, chance. Smi what the fuck? Smited? Did he just drop his prayer? Okay, thank god. I thought that was like a god sword. <laughs> hey, thanks for the box! I accidentally hit this guy while I was, uh, Britting. I don't know if Meter got the kill. But, uh, that's kinda cool. Just ran into him randomly on a Zerker. Yeah, under 500k. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, well, not sure what he's doing. Oh, Wyvern Bones. Cool. 70k. I ran into somebody doing a clue because there is a clue spot behind the altar, so it feels bad for that guy. I got another dude who was doing Bones, and then when I teleported back out, I got attacked by a Brid. And mid-fight with this Brid, well, something very, very weird happens. Not a chance, but close. Fakey. I want him to run, so I gotta give him a little hope here. Alright, AGS me anytime you want, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did a fucking... Did the fucking full Armadale guy just fucking walk by? Did he just tiptoe across our fucking fight? Awesome. Good fight, buddy. Yeah, in the middle of this fight, this dude in full armor just walks by. I don't have to do a slow-mo. I can't even... I don't even know his gear was, but... Oh, my God. Good fight to that guy. And we're walking out with uh, one mil. Yeah, 500k cash. Here is the slow-mo playback of the person who ran by when we were fighting. Looks like a very geared kbd -er. I don't think I've ever seen someone risk that much in the wilderness going to KBD. Full armor. Pretty sure those are Pegasians, I'm not too sure. A uh, very nice bow, a shield, and literally just, it makes me so sad. That's the kind of loot you can expect to find randomly. All right, is he out? Dude, he's just rocking one hittable HP right now. Oh, chance. Could have been over. Oh, I caught him on another freeze here. Got him with the freeze kill. First freeze kill of the night. Good fight, sir. Ooh, another PKer down at the altar. Oh, man. He, he, he kept fighting until he was about out of food, which is pretty much the most heroic thing I've ever seen in my life. And we're walking away with 500k, about average loot. Cool thing is, three hours in, and we're about as much PK'd as we were on the last video in total. We're at 8.1 mil plus extra loots from cash stacks, so... These single areas are doing super well. Okay, so we're running into a little bit of a clan situation. You guys ready for some boots? Boots. Okay, cool. We got a kill. Come here, buddy. You don't even have an amulet. It's time to feast, boys. It is feasting time. I'm actually gonna want to grab some some potions. Ooh, can I just kill him from here? The <laughs> No! That was a misclick! That was a misclick! Oh, that was a fucking misclick! What happened? What the <laughs> oh, I think this guy's gone. Okay, that's for PJME, buddy. So, it looks like we're walking out with three kills here. Um... <laughs> So I meant to sidestep and go into range and continue my fight, but instead I accidentally killed some random ongoer, which is hilarious and I'm still laughing about it now. So if you didn't just subscribe, I don't know what kind of content I can give you, because that, that was just amazing. Alright, three kills out of that PK clan. I don't think we got any of the people risking a lot. <laughs> That's 360k, and then, uh, you know, just price check some of this loot here. Extra 100k. All of it's on the loot tracker. We have officially passed the amount we PK'd in the last video. Is he a major? He has an Avis, so I don't know. The oh, okay. <laughs> Quick clean! 530k! Oh, dude, he's not going for the obelisk. He's going into here. It looks like I got him lower than I thought I did. Oh, got him. Oh, I was working him for a bit there. Another PK or down. And we are one world off of checking all the worlds, but we're pretty much done switching every world at the altar. And I'm telling you, these single spots today, it's Sunday the weekend, are 
packed. Like, this is much more packed than they usually are. And a combat bracelet, fully charged. Ooh, just teleported in. This guy's waiting for me. I always like when people wait for me. I don't think he knew what's coming, but still. Cause fuck em, that's <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Ooh, was able to get the ballista. Mm, I think that's going to be the last PK, even though that wasn't at the altar, but the last PK of the four hours in. And then we're going to go ahead and, and move to our next spot, which is going to be the uh, Chaos Fanatic. One mil in the bag with the Ballista. And I just have to say these single spots have been amazing. Our next and final spot is going to be the Chaos Fanatic located in between the spots we just checked. Each area is very close to the next, just making it a very good place to PK in singles. The Chaos Fanatic is one of the three bosses needed to complete the Odium and Malediction Shield. It drops one shard of each and also has a chance at dropping the Chaos Elemental Pet. It's not the best GP per hour compared to the rest of the wild, but it is a very easy spot to escape PKers from as you're next to two teleports and if you maintain aggro on the boss there's a way where you're not even able to get attacked. It's very overpowered. Hopefully the people that we find here will not do that method. This my friends is an obelisk. It can teleport you anywhere and if you have the wilderness hard diaries you can click 50 Teleport destination, and then someone could spear you in, which this has happened many times. One of the oldest lures in the world. Everyone knows about this, but for those who don't, you're going to be sent to 50 wild, where you can either be maced, speared, and definitely killed. Okay, I've switched 50 worlds, and I finally found someone, and it's perfect because the guy just died. Level 97, and you'll pretty much get the boss aggroed on you, but... The trick is to kill him as fast as you can here. Oh, that's horrible loot. <laughs> oh man, that is awful. 20k loot and a bunch of stews. Hey, level 98. Dude, what are you, is that a power amulet? Oh my lord. Cute baby. That's weird. Leave my baby alone, man. And that's really bad loot. That's about 20k loot. All right, so there's another one down. I am protecting and serving the Chaos Alley, and hey, look, loot over 100k. Just found this guy. He looks like he just got the kill. <laughs> oh, thank God. Okay, we weren't a victim of RNG this time, and that, my friends, is gonna be the best PK we're probably gonna get in this area. We're looking at 450k, no cash stack, but I like you. I like you a lot. Here's how you have some fun with the obelisk solo PKing. He did end up getting away, but I caught him in here for quite a while. Hey, buddy. <laughs> imagine being that guy. Oh, imagine being that guy. I wouldn't want to be that guy. 130k loot with a sinister key. I have finally switched to every world at the Chaos Fanatic. I'm only gonna go once around as it was pretty damn dry. It was really, really dry, and the loot here is not that great. Not many PKers and very easy escape, so I would not recommend the Chaos Fanatic, but it used to be pretty gold back in the day. In five hours after roaming around each PK spot, we were able to PK 11.6 mil. At least that's what the loot tracker says, but the loot tracker only counts 65k cash and doesn't go above that. So if we add all the other cash stacks we did PK, I'd estimate around 13 mil PK'd in five hours with 25 PKs in itself. That means that it was pretty damn active most of the time. We have finally come to the time where we will rate the activity of the wilderness and the areas we have checked. I'm gonna go ahead and give Lava Maze and the Altar a four key skull, which means it's pretty damn active. Not super active where you're gonna find one person every two or three worlds, but you're gonna find some fights and have a good time and possibly make some decent GP. The Chaos Fanatic though, I'm gonna go ahead and give a one key skull. Very inactive, not a lot of people, and when you do find someone, they're likely not to risk very much. Day three of the Wilderness documentary, we are gonna be headed south of the border. We will need Teleblock and normal spells, plus I'll be bringing my Pure. This will be the first time we check areas that people can teleport right away, and we're gonna need a lot of very special spells 
strats to get these guys before they see us. But if you guys do go in the wild and listen to any of my tips, I promise it, you are going to be a step ahead of the competition. I know it's scary, but knowledge is power. And if you want some more wilderness knowledge, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out. Drop a like so my videos get recommended. I do appreciate you all. And like always, I will see you in the next episode.